Well, hey folks, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. Got a fun little project here I hope you're going to like. I call this the Big Tex House on Wheels. And it is a uh, house designed for the Big Tex trailers, or it can be built on a foundation. Now, this is 8 foot wide, 14 foot long, 7 foot side walls, about 8 foot to the peak. Uh, it is designed specifically to be low profile and low weight so that it can be towed on a trailer uh, behind a standard pickup truck. And uh, I designed this for a guy who uh, works uh, a lot on the road and he wants to be able to take his home with him. And he didn't want something that was too heavy or too tall because he does a lot of driving and plans on moving his house quite a bit. So I designed this specifically. You notice that most, most of the tiny houses on wheels today, they're not really designed to be towed, even though they're on a trailer. They're too high, they're too heavy, and they're not uh, built in a, in a way that they would hold up uh, for much traveling, especially if you're traveling at any distance or any speed. They put them on traders just so they can put them on their property to avoid having to build them on a foundation and follow codes is basically what they're doing. This house is designed specifically so that it can be towed. It is low profile, it is low weight, it can be towed with a standard pickup truck, and so it is designed for somebody that actually wants to be mobile and have something better than just an RV or a camp trailer. It is fully insulated, 2x4 uh, framing all the way through. It is designed for year-round living. Again, it is 8 feet wide, 14 foot long. This is built, I show it, designed on the uh, big text trailers, the, the uh, 7x14 car hauler trailer which I'll show you here in a minute is what this is designed for however this at can also be built on the 7 by 16 foot trailer or the 7 by 18 foot trailer and uh, I will show you the uh, plans for the or not the plans but the designs for those uh, and you can get the full plans I have the plans available for this <clears throat> on my website simplesolarhomesteading.com right at the top you'll see big big text tiny house and I have the full plans, 30-page full-color plans for this house. And uh, if you want to get the package deal, you can also get my SketchUps and uh, my 355-page uh, off-grid ebook to go along with this. And that includes the SketchUps for this, this exact plan. Also with it on a foundation, which I'll show you. And also the uh, uh, four, 8 by uh, 16 and 8 by 18 foot versions. So let's go ahead and look at some of the details. I put a lot of detail work into this. This has both a side door and a front door. Now that's something that you don't usually find in tiny houses. I included both a side door and a front door. Nice windows. These, these are over the living area right here. And this one's over the bathroom. And this one, or this one's over the bathroom. This one's over the living room. And then I've got two fancy doors here in the front that also have uh, glass in them. And I show this with cedar trim and a nice little porch on the front here and I designed this porch so I would make it so it is portable so you can just take these rails off and the floor off and you can stick everything inside the house when you're moving and then pull it out and, and just bolt your uh, uh, porch back together when you want to use it wherever you parked. Uh, I show this with solar panels because everything that I design is off-grid of course so I show this with solar panels and a tongue box and in the tongue box this would be where you would store your uh, propane tanks and your battery so basically this could be a self-contained house much like an RV or a uh, a uh, yeah like an RV or a camper is set up however it's much better insulated and designed for full-time use okay so let's take a look inside this now now here you can see the framing as I said this is all 2x4 framing the only part that isn't 2x4 is this center ridge beam up here it's a 2x6 everything else is 2x4 uh, construction framing Take this off, and here you can see the interior design, and uh, this actually has a lot of room. Now this has, I show this with a double bed, it can also have a single bed in it, uh, or two uh, bunk beds, and it is designed, this desk here is optional, uh, but I'll show you what this has here. This has a, uh, a nice kitchenette, uh, small with four burner cooktop on it, a uh, fridge freezer underneath the counter, three large storage cabinets up above, here's your sink drawers in this cabinet here this is an entertainment center with your uh, big screen flat screen TV up on top and then you can see underneath that I've got a couple of bar stools so this can be a desk area or an eating area and you can have a pull-out table right here so if you want to sit on both sides of a table you can have a pull-out table 
<clears throat> I show this with a love seat couch, and these are the type. This is a sleeping unit couch, so this will actually sleep four people. You, this are, there's enough room in here that you can pull this couch out to sleep two adult, uh, adults here, or you can have a full size bed here, or you can have two bo uh, bunk beds, or one single bed in here. So you can sleep four people in this unit. And this does have a, the side door here. With the single beds, there's plenty of room in here for the side door to open right up uh, so that you can go in and out. I show this, show this with the double bed. A uh, nice entertainment center in the bedroom with storage closets, storage cabinets, and a desk uh, for, you know, for a student or whatever to work on. And this does have a what we call a wet or a wet bath, uh, which is a bathroom that the entire floor is the shower stall. So you can see here it's got the shower stall on the bottom. And then I show it with a, uh, let me turn this around here. I'm having a little trouble getting my directions going here. Wet bath with a RV style toilet or a composting toilet or a uh, porta potty, either one. You can, do, you can do any type of toilet that you want in this unit here. And then I should also show this with bathroom shelves, mirror up above, nice place to store all your uh, bathroom supplies in your bathroom. It's not a very big bathroom. There's enough in room in here for you to come in and shower and do your stuff in your bathroom here. Uh, this is designed on the 8x14, as I said. You can also do it on the 8x16 or 8x18. And it has a nice walkway, good front area in the living room, plenty of room for you to come in, relax on your couch, watch TV, uh, do your games on your gaming system, your recreation area there. A uh, good-sized bedroom. And this, without the single bed in it, or without the uh, full-size bed, if you have the single bed in it, then this is also a desk over here, as you can, I can show you. If you have a single bed in here, then this is a desk, and this is a wardrobe for your clothing. And then underneath it, I show it with a uh, micro washer and dryer just slid underneath there. So you've got enough room in there for uh, adequate living space in here. And then this is designed for either a cot size or a, a, a twin size mattress. And you can have bunk beds up above it. I show this with windows up above the bed. Nice, two nice windows. So that's the uh, Big Tech's floor plan. Now this is just my floor plan. Uh, if you have the SketchUps and you want to design a different floor plan, <clears throat> you certainly can. You don't have to use my floor plan. So what's in the plans? That's what I'm going to show you here next. Okay, before I take you to show you the plans, I just wanted to take you to the website where you can see the information for these Big Text Traders. Now, you don't have to use the Big Text Trader. Uh, any 7x14 or 7x16, 7x18 trader that is designed for hauling cars or something like that will work. The car haulers are good traders because they're designed for heavy weight. Okay, so that's why I use one. And they're generally less expensive than some of the other types of traders that have the side walls on them. You don't have to worry about taking off side uh, walls for this they're designed with a flat surface usually with a wood platform you can see these trailers on big treks tape big text trailers dot com uh, to get some ideas for them and this the trailer that i show is the 60 ec it is an economy tandem axle car hauler uh, they are designed for hauling vehicles so they can handle a lot of weight uh, up to six thousand pounds and they are uh, a dual axle so you have dual tires, dual axle trainer, and they have the uh, wood platform on top usually. This is a bumper pull trainer and is designed so that you, uh, it also comes with the jack on the front here. Also designed so that it, you know, it can be towed by a standard pickup truck. You don't need a really large pickup truck. Now somebody say, well, I don't have a truck, so how am I going to tow a house on wheels? One of the ways to get around that is you can get a U-Haul uh, uh, truck. And they with the uh, uh, bumper hitch attachment, and you can haul your stuff and your your house wherever you want to go, and then just take the U-Haul back to the U-Haul place when you're done. So you don't have to own a truck in order to, to move your house when you're going to move it, if you want to, is what I'm saying. Now, if you go to their website, I suggest you go to the, uh, it, it gives you all the information for the trader. But I suggest that you go download the brochure to get the information. And they do carry different varieties and sizes. They've got an 83. They're not quite 7 feet. They're 83 inches, but I call them a 7 foot. It's a uh, 83 inch by 14 foot. That's the one that I show on the plans. They also carry an 83 by 16 foot and a 18 foot trailer. And I would go uh, get the detailed measurements before you start building. You can download everything. That's why I like the, 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 their website because you can get all the information before you start building. 
if you're going to be using a different type of trailer, different model of trailer, uh, the plans, you may have to modify the plans. So just be aware of that. Also, go and look for their uh, dealers. Locate a dealer. And the uh, I located the dealer in my area, and the price for this trailer is under $3,000. If you pay cash, it's under $3,000. Or they have a really good payment plan that's under $50 a month. Now, that's not bad. If you want to buy a trailer, it's under $50 a month to buy your trailer uh, that you're going to build your house on. Okay, so again, that's at the thebigtextrailers.com. I recommend you go and look at those trailers and get your measurements and specifications before you start building. So now let's go to the plans. Okay, so these are the plans that I design. Big text, tiny house, 8 by 14 house plans. And I give you, I show you a couple of different varieties uh, of the house in these plans here. And the plans are 30, 30 pages long. And uh, I give you all the very detailed step-by-step -step information. I give you information on your trailer and where to get it. Uh, I give you information on tools and equipment that you may need before you start construction. I show you how to do your framing with all of the dimensions. You've got all the specific dimensions. Here's your floor framing showing it boxed in around the uh, wheel wells. I show you the connectors that you should use to connect the floor framing to your floor. I show you how to locate your floor uh, framing connectors, how to do, how to box in the uh, side walls that overhang because it overhangs six inches on both sides. Show you how to box those in. Show you how to insulate your floor, how to do your floor sheathing, how to do all your walls. Here's your wall framing, and I give you all the dimensions for cutting out your walls and boxing in your walls. Uh, here's your end wall shown with the door, and if you wanted to, you could put in a double sliding glass door in here with all your dimensions in it. Rear wall with your side wall, and your all your dimensions for your framing. I show you how to do your uh, wind and vapor barrier to put that on, and uh, what type of siding I would recommend. And you can go with any type of siding. I show it with either cedar or I show it with this smart side siding. Uh, material costs are kind of expensive right now, but still the smart side is is a pretty good deal. It's like thirty-five dollars a sheet, I think. This is shown with the smart side siding on it, and uh, shown on both side and end walls. And then I give you all the details and dimensions for doing your uh, roofing. Here's your, all your roof framing. It's on two foot centers, and I show you how to box in your ends. Now this is designed with an overhang that a very short overhang over the front, so it doesn't catch the wind, and about a foot overhang on the front. I show you how to cut your rafters, makes it much easier when you're designing your roof. There's a side profile of the roof showing the dimensions. There's the roof framing on top of the, the, the structure. And I give you all the details for how to connect and, and do this. And here's all your dimensions. This is the gable wall end I show here, showing with the roof rafter cut and your braces for your roof. Okay. Uh, very simple construction, as you can see here. Very basic construction. Any do-it-yourself uh, person should be able to do it. It's pretty much all straight cuts. There isn't anything fancy on this. Here's your roof sheathing, OSB roof sheathing, and here's your uh, tar paper or felt, tar felt on uh, top of your roof, roofing felt. And then I would recommend uh, metal roofing on this structure. You could do some t other type of roofing. Metal roofing is probably recommended. I'll show you how to do your metal roofing, how to insulate the inside of your walls. Here we're using uh, just fiberglass insulation, and I recommend the formaldehyde-free insulation. I show you how to do your drywall. And then if you don't want to do drywall, you could do something like this Evertrue Pine Gold wall panel, which looks really nice. It's the same stuff that I used inside my cabin instead of drywall. And uh, here's your install, how to install your flooring uh, and your doors and windows installed. And here's what it, what it looks like with the corner trim. This is the corner trim attached. And how to box in around your wheel wells. I'll show you how to do that. And then I give you ideas for your floor plan. This is the same floor plan. Now, here I show you with the single bed, with that desk and everything inside. And uh, I just give you some ideas for different floor plans and how you can set this up and design and build your own interior. Pictures of that. Pictures of the bathroom. Okay, different views. And then I show it with you know, how you could do the different exterior sidings. This is with cedar siding. Cedar lapboard siding is not all that expensive. Weather's really nice and looks really good. And uh, I explain how to set up your 
off-grid solar power system. There's your solar panels on there. Here's your tongue box with your propane tanks in it. And then I give you a very detailed material list with the cost breakdown as of 2021. Now, folks, right now, uh, material costs are really expensive. As everybody knows, if you go uh, looking at any type of materials, they're expensive right now. But even though they are expensive, uh, this house right now, you, you could build the house. Now, that does not include the trailer. You could build the house for about $1,900. And that does not include tax, windows, or doors. Uh, if you want to figure in your tax, windows, doors, everything like that, figure $3,000 for the house. But if you can get used or secondhand windows or doors, which is what I usually recommend, you can save a lot of money so you can keep your price down. But if you figure $3,000 for the house and $3,000 for the trailer, you're looking at about $6,000 if you build it on the trailer. If you don't want to build it on the trailer, though, you can also build it <coughs> on a foundation and this house will work fine. Now, I also recommend uh, some appliances like the type that I use in my cabin here, the EcoTemp L5. And, you know, I've got a two-burner stove, RV-style toilet, uh, the camp toilet like I use, or and this micro washer is something that I use, and these tanks are something that I use in my cabin. So I can recommend these products, and I know they will work for your off-grid houses. And then I also give you my guide to uh, small off-grid solar power systems. So I tell you, I'll give you a, a brief introduction to solar power and how to use it. Uh, show you the schematics for how to set up and hook up your, your uh, solar power systems. Uh, my video for a 100 watt uh, basic solar power system link is included in there. And then this, this last couple of pages are information about my cabin, my work, and other package deals that you might be interested in. The, the plans are about 30 pages long, full color, and you get that for $5 on my website, simplesolarhomesteading.com. Right at the top, you'll see Big Tech's house. So now I'll go back and show you what you could also get um, if you wanted to get the uh, advanced uh, package deal. So let's go back and look at what's in the package deal. This is the Big Tech's, as I've shown you on wheels. And the Big Tech's can also be built on a foundation. And uh, the only difference is you don't have to block out for your wheel wells. And you can do the uh, siding all the way down to the bottom. That's the only difference. There isn't any real difference. It can be built either on a cement pad like I show here or a cement footer. This is just a 4-inch cement footer. Or it could be built on deck blocks and skirted around it, which is what I did with my cabin a lot of done. Now, a lot of people are looking for small houses, ADUs, cabins that they can build either for off-grid, for recreation, or for a permanent living. Uh, for off-grid living and so this would make a, this is again an 8x14 this would make a really nice uh, small house to put either on a trader or on a foundation and again just to give you the idea of the inside this has a really nice interior uh, layout that can be very functional for I'd say a couple of people or a small family with a couple of kids uh, you got room here to sleep two people in a pull-out couch bed uh, either a full bed or a single beds or bunk beds in this area in here nice little kitchenette bathroom good storage for your clothing and and gear and everything like that so this sketch up right here if you want to get the uh package deal if you get the package deal go to my website simplesolarhomesteading.com click on big techs uh tiny house you get the package deal you get this sketch up that has both of these units shown here okay and that way you can modify them any way you want you can do any type of siding you can put any type of windows doors do the interior floor plan any way you want and that way you get you can modify it to fit your needs and that's why i i provide this along with all my off-grid information uh in the package deal so for people that want to live off-grid and set up their cabins uh for off-grid living you can and i also include the models uh, the SketchUp models for the uh, 8x16 and the 8x18, which I'll show you here. Okay, folks, if you get the package deal, you're going to get all of the Sketch models, SketchUp models for the 14-foot, uh, the 16-foot, which is this one over here, and the 18-foot. The SketchUp models are really handy if you're going to be designing, if you want to design your own house on wheels. And uh, these include the framing models and the completed models with different modifications like you can see this one has the uh, double glass doors in, in it uh, a fireplace in it this one over here has full bed this is the 18 foot model and I'll just give you some some uh, views of the interior of these this is the 18 foot model and you can see here the difference uh, I got a larger couch you got a larger couch in here Larger entertainment center and kitchen, larger bathroom, 
full-size bed and there's more walk room around the full-size bed so you can have a uh, cabinet here a wardrobe cabinet here with uh, storage space up above so this is an 18 foot on the, the same design now if you can build the 14 foot the framing for the 18 foot is is very easy to do you can understand how to do the 18 foot using the same plans that are included uh, with the package deal for the R14 are, are very similar to what you'd be doing for the R18. It doesn't matter. You're going to be doing them the same. The difference is you're going to be gaining four feet for the R14. And if you want to do the 16-foot model, which is a really good size, in the 16-foot model, I show this with uh, either, you can do either a full-size bed, and you can see it has more walk room here. This is a 16-foot model. It has either a full-size bed or the single beds. You can do either one. And I show this instead of with the entertainment center, I show this with a nice gas fireplace, a little bit larger kitchen, bigger bathroom, and, of course, your uh, big screen TV over your fireplace. These are all good design ideas, floor plan ideas. And if you get the, floor, the uh, full package deal, you get all the sketch-ups for all of the different models. And that will help you out when you're designing your tiny houses on wheels, regardless of what trailer you're making. All right, folks, in order to get these, just go to my website, <clears throat> simplesolarhomesteading.com. Click on the link, Big Text Tiny House. You can see where you can either get just the plans for $5 or you can get the entire package deal for $10. All right, I hope you enjoyed this model. Have a great day, everybody.